Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sira, and much more. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tonight marks the 10th night of Ramadan. Inshallah, I will talk about how non Muslims are not the ones to attend or manage to Allah's sanctuaries and how non Muslims are bearing witness against themselves of disbelief and how their works were in vain and in the fire they will abide as said in Surah Tawbah, Ayah 17. A'udhu billahi min ash rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. ما كان للمشركين أن يعمروا مساجد الله شاهدين على أنفسهم بالكفر أولئك حبطت أعمالهم وفي النار هم خالدون صدق الله العظيم The translation it is said It is not for the idolaters to tend Allah's sanctuaries bearing witness against themselves of disbelief as for such, their works are in vain, and in the fire they will abide. So the first explanation that I found from Ala Maududi says, This lays down the general principle for the guardianship of the places of worship that have been built exclusively for the worship of Allah. Obviously, those people who associate others with Allah in His essence, His rights, and His powers cannot be the proper person to be the guardian, the servant, or the manager, etc. of such sacred places. And when they themselves reject the invitation of Tawheed and openly declare that they are not going to dedicate their worship and obedience exclusively to Allah, they automatically forfeit any right they had for one guardianship of such place of worship that had been built for the worship of Allah alone. Though the principle is of a general nature, it has been mentioned here with the particular object of removing the mushriks from the guardianship of the Kaaba and Masjid al-Haram and establishing permanently the guardianship of the worshippers of one God over them. Their deeds have become worthless, including the little real service they did to the house of Allah because they mixed with the it, shirk, and other practices of ignorance. Their little good was destroyed by their far greater evils. The second explanation from Ibn Kathir. Allah says that it is not fitting that those who associate others with Allah in worship should maintain the masjids of Allah that were built in His name alone without partners. Those who read the ayah, Masjid Allah, said that it refers to Al-Masjid Al-Haram, the most honored masjid on the earth, which was built from the first day for the purpose of worshiping Allah alone. <clears throat> without any partners. It was built by Khalil al-Rahman, the Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. The idolaters do this while they themselves testify to their disbelief with their statements and actions. Aswadi said, If you ask a Christian, what is your religion? He will tell you he is a Christian. If you ask a Jew about his religion, he will say he is a Jew. And the same for the Sabiri and the Mushrik. Allah said in another ayah, Surah 8, Ayah 34. And why should not Allah punish them while they hinder men from Al-Masjid Al-Haram? And they are not its guardians. None can be its guardians except those with taqwa, but most of them know not. Believers are the true maintainers of the masjids. Allah said, The masjids of Allah shall be maintained by only by those who believe in Allah and the last day. Therefore, Allah testifies to the faith of those who maintain the masjids. So inshallah for my conclusion. What can we understand with this is to know Muslims should be the ones maintaining the masjids because it is a place for true believers of Allah. If there was a non-believer to take care of a masjid, all their effort would go to nothing because they still do not believe in Allah and reject everything of the Quran and Islam and they will still have their punishment in the fire.
Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran Tafsir, and Sira are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about islampodcasts.com.